Welcome to Wall Street Mindset, the channel where we simplify markets, investing, and trading using real-world examples and practical insights. Today, we're diving into how artificial intelligence is transforming quantitative finance, one of the most data-driven areas in the financial world. So what exactly is quantitative finance? Quantitative finance, or quant finance, is a field where professionals use advanced mathematics, statistics, and computer science to make financial decisions. Think of it as using code, models, and algorithms to find profitable opportunities in markets, price complex derivatives, and manage risk more precisely. Now with AI entering the scene, things are moving faster, becoming more adaptive, and in many cases, more profitable. Let's explore the top ways AI is changing the game in quant finance, one use case at a time. Number one, alpha generation. Traditionally, quants relied on well-known indicators and structured data sets. But AI opens the door to alternative data sources like credit card transactions, web traffic, satellite imagery, or even foot traffic patterns to identify price signals before anyone else. Machine learning models can process this data and discover subtle patterns humans would likely miss giving firms a huge advantage in predicting market movements. Number two, sentiment analysis using natural language processing. AI reads and analyzes huge volumes of text, earnings reports, SEC filings, news headlines, or social media posts. It can detect tone, emotion, and trends in how people are talking about a company, sector, or macro event. This helps traders capture the market mood in real time long before it's reflected in the price. Number three, smarter portfolio optimization. AI helps portfolio managers go beyond mean variance models and static correlations. It dynamically adjusts for changing market volatility, liquidity, or macroeconomic shifts. Machine learning models can test thousands of asset combinations and constraints to find optimal allocations that better handle risk and return trade-offs. Number four, market microstructure and execution. AI doesn't just make trade decisions, it decides how and when to place trades in the market. Reinforcement learning algorithms simulate thousands of execution strategies to reduce trading costs and slippage. This is crucial in high-frequency trading, where even a millisecond delay can make or break a trade. Number five, risk management and stress testing. Traditional risk models like value at risk can miss rare events or nonlinear relationships. AI can model tail risks more effectively by learning from historical crises, market structure changes, or outliers. This makes risk detection more forward-looking and proactive rather than just reactive. You might be wondering, who's actually using AI in finance today? Well, global hedge funds like Citadel and Two Sigma have invested heavily in AI research and talent. BlackRock uses AI across its risk management platform, Aladdin, to assess portfolio exposure and optimize decisions. Even startups like Numeri use a crowdsourced network of data scientists submitting AI models to run real money strategies. Of course, AI is powerful, but it's not perfect. Overfitting is a big risk. If the model learns noise instead of signal, it can collapse in live trading. Also, many deep learning models operate like black boxes, making them hard to explain to regulators or risk teams. And without clean, well-labeled data, even the most advanced AI model will fail to deliver useful insights. Still, when used with proper oversight and human judgment, AI becomes a powerful ally for quantitative analysts and fund managers. It helps discover new sources of alpha, reduce costs, control risk, and stay competitive in an increasingly automated world. And those who know how to blend finance, data, and AI will be the ones who lead the next generation of investing. If you found this breakdown helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Wall Street Mindset, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a market insight. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.